Hey, Aperio. This is Nathaniel Heller, the executive director and one of the co-founders of Global Integrity, which is one of the finalists for the Extreme Cloud Makeover. So here's our little homemade video talking about some of our work and why we obsess over the cloud and what you all can do to help us. Luxurious office, all 1,600 square feet of it. When we started the organization, we worked out of 462 square feet, which always allowed us to say that we did more work per square foot than any other NGO and nonprofit we knew of. So we use cloud-based technology a lot. Raymond, what's going on? Besides doing something in the cloud, I'm sure that's really exciting. <laughs> yes, it is in the cloud. It's our Indaba Fieldwork platform, which runs on Amazon Web Services. We do not own any boxes to run this the software that we built to manage our 1,200 people around the world. What was the most exotic place you used Indaba, Raymond? Manila, Philippines. Manila, Philippines? For training. That is very exotic. Outstanding. Marco, say hi to the camera. Uh, where was the best and most exotic place you were using any of our cloud-based stuff in recent memory? I'd say that would be Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyzstan, Bishkek? Yeah. Kyrgyzstan, uh, Kyrgyzstan, Bishkek, and uh, the lake of Isokol in the east of that, the country. Whoa, that's very exotic. And <laughs> Google, Docs, Google Docs works in Bishkek? It does. does. Excellent. So does Indaba. <laughs> so does Indaba. That's good. We do have web filtering problems in some countries, but fortunately not Kyrgyzstan. Let's go take a tour of our high-tech environment here. This is our kitchen. So what's most important about this kitchen is not the coffee maker. It's this stuff here. This is the extent of the uh, technological hardware that Global Integrity actually owns and operates. So we've been around 10 plus years. Uh, we work with 1,200 people in 120 countries. We generate hundreds of thousands of data points and w millions of words of journalistic reporting around issues of transparency and accountability each year globally. And we own uh, a $60 firewall, a $40 little switch, and a probably $30 little Wi-Fi router that taps into our line. The reason we can do this and the fact that we only have 100 bucks or less of hardware here, the fact that there are no servers in this office or anywhere else that we run, is that everything we do is in the cloud. And that's a big deal for us and it allows us to scale rapidly and efficiently without investing in huge uh, technology and human overhead. So that's a big secret to our success. So as I said, we own about 90 bucks worth of hardware here, but we managed to generate a lot of data and reporting globally around issues of transparency and corruption because of the cloud. Um, there's a bunch of core systems we use uh, to do that, and this helps us also as an organization manage people in Washington, D.C., Chicago, New York, uh, Durban, South Africa, and Cape Town, South Africa. Um, we do everything in terms of communication with each other in the outside world when it comes to email and calendaring in Google Apps. It's a big deal for us. We migrated to Google Apps about 18 months ago, and it's been a really great experience with huge cost savings and the obvious convenience of managing uh, not stupid exchange servers, but actually uh, tools that have a UI that make life fairly easy. Um, another major platform we use quite heavily is Basecamp. So this is where um, we do all of our internal discussions, brainstorming, writing, file storage. We use Basecamp heavily for all of that sort of stuff. So you can see there's a ton of projects here um, that we use to archive and chat about things. Basecamp for us is one of our core tools. Um, it has its limits in terms of not being um, the world's perfect uh, project management tool, but frankly, for the low co price point and the fact that any of us can access this from anywhere on the planet, it's pretty cool. Um, so this is a big, big deal for us. And again, totally accessible through any web browser on the planet, um, which is a super important thing given the work that we do. We are big, big users of Salesforce as well, and this is where we're hoping we can get a lot of help from Aperio as part of this contest. Um, we use Salesforce to manage a Rolodex of today about 13,000 contacts, uh, people in our field, our 1,200 plus contributors in 120 plus countries, everybody we've ever met at a conference, at a meeting, all those business cards and contacts are in here and we use this really heavily um, to manage relationships with the external world. And last but not least, in terms of the cloud, uh, there's our own custom Indaba fieldwork platform uh, built on a LAMP stack. This is our uh, way of gathering and publishing data and reporting from around the field. This is what everybody in the field goes to once they can get to an internet cafe and dumps us data and reporting. So I'll take you on a quick tour just in case you're curious. To, let's go and peek at the Global Integrity Report 2011, which is running right now in the field. Uh, there's a load of content across a ton of countries that we're gathering. We're doing a bunch of different products for each country, a notebook, a scorecard, a highlights. Let's just take a look at a scorecard just to give you an example. 
So this was about a two-year project, cost us probably half a million dollars in development costs, but it makes our life incredibly easy in terms of managing content. So this is what people in the field are going into literally right now in Liberia. So when our guy in Monrovia has 25 minutes and he pops over to the Internet Cafe and wants to dump us some additional data around conflicts of interest safeguards in Liberia, he's going into this tool in the exact same way that I am, filling out a bunch of questions and boxes, uploading some files if he wants, maybe he's tagging the indicator, and then he's sending it back to us. So again, this stuff for us is really, really powerful. I've used this platform in probably 40 different countries around the world when I'm traveling, and it gives us the ability to scale and go global with our work uh, in a way that's supremely important. So that's a quick tour of a bunch of the platforms that we use. Um, I think where we really do need some help in terms of the one that we're weakest on is Salesforce, and that's where we're hoping to get a little bit of assistance uh, coming out of this contest. Uh, if you haven't checked it out yet, the reason we need help uh, is because of this thing, the Open Government Partnership, uh, which is a very, very cool high-level thing. Here's President Obama at the launch event in New York, uh, where we're trying to stimulate a race to the top by governments around the world to promote and embrace open government reforms. Um, I won't bore you now with this, but if you go to this URL, opengovpartnership.org, check out this amazing video here on the right. You really get a sense for what we're trying to do as a community of practice, uh, shoulder to shoulder with governments around the world. Our role in that is the coordinator of the OGP network. And what we're trying to do is to introduce governments to technologists, technology companies, and non-governmental policy groups that can help governments around the world think through much more innovative and ambitious open government reforms. Whether that means putting data on a portal in a way that's machine readable, or whether it means very offline but powerful reforms like passing a freedom of information law, that's what we're trying to do. So for us, managing the relationships between those suppliers and those experts, and we already have almost 100 of them signed up, with governments is really crucial. Right now, we're using Basecamp to simply take notes about all these folks. Um, there's a string here on Basecamp of just quick and dirty notes from all these phone calls we've been having uh, over the past few months with suppliers, which is better than nothing, but clearly this, all, this, all of this needs to get systematized, structured, put into a database like a Salesforce case manager in a way that can be accessed and analyzed over time. So that's what we're hoping to do. Uh, thanks again for hanging out with us, and we're hoping we win the contest.